Well hello there everybody and welcome to the latest video. As you may have noticed I've been uploading a lot of Jurassic World Evolution um, mod videos and install videos lately including um, a lot surrounding the new um, non-replace mod dinosaurs that are getting added to the game and basically some of them need something called the Awesome Cobra Script Extender and Basically, I've been getting a lot of requests to uh, show how that gets installed to your game. Now, I will let you know right now, any attempt I've made to install this onto my base Epic Games version, I cannot get it to load whatsoever, so you probably will need all DLC on your game for this to work, and I'm talking every single DLC. If it doesn't work, that's most probably your issue. Just make sure that you've got all the DLC, okay? So first thing you want to do is go to this link, at the top, obviously I'll, I'll link that in the description as well, um, and it brings you to this page, and all you want to do is click on that awesome Cobra script extender. I will let you know right now, it still does have a few little bugs and uh, uh, issues and whatnot, but it does get updated regularly, so come back to this page however often you feel you know it needs updating, whatever, and just see if there's any updates to that. Okay, so just click on that link there, choose save file, and that should come in literally within no time at all. Um, so what you want to do is look, you want to go to your game install location like this. So for me, it's the Steam version, Jurassic World Evolution, Win64, OVL data. And it's this folder here that you want to see. Like I say, I did do a video showing how to install all of these dinosaurs. Some of them do now need the ACSE script um, extender. So this is why I'm doing this video for you, okay? So what you do is with this uh, script extender that you've downloaded, just get that folder, just drop it in there, and you're done. That, that is, that is, uh, that's literally it. So I'll get back to you in a second when I've loaded up and I'll show you just what that does to your game, okay? Okay, and I will mention real quick before you actually install the script extender, make sure you back up your save files as well. Because if you make a save that uses the ACSE, um, then basically if you try and load it on the vanilla game, it's not going to work, okay? So this is my 100% save file. Um, I will put the link for that down below. Um, but essentially what it does is look, in your database and everything uh, under the research tab should I say you get all these um, extra options there is a known bug as well in the global operations it looks like that so choose global operations go to fossils and then go back to global operations and they're all displayed correctly okay um, it adds new categories like there you can see the modern slots alpha um, yep yeah, all good up there genetic research Obviously, it's now adding hybrids and everything to it as well. And the new fossils, as you can see, look, Pachyrhinosaurus, Torvosaurus. And essentially, look, say if um, I choose the Pachyrhinosaurus um, and then go over to the expedition map. Now, as you can see, there is actually new dinosaurs that I haven't unlocked because they've been added with the script extender to campaign mode. Okay. Um, so, look, it lets you actually now dig up within the campaign mode and challenge modes as well. It'll let you um, research them and release them in campaign mode. If you're just doing sandbox mode, you probably won't need the script extender, but, you know, a lot of people have been requesting this. That's as simple as it is. If there's any issues, it's probably because you haven't got some of the DLC. So, I'd highly re recommend getting all the DLC anyway for this game because it is awesome just on its own. And, um, yeah. If you need any more advice, just uh, go to the comment section down below. Um, doing loads of Jurassic World Evolution videos at the minute, so please consider subscribing, uh, liking the video and whatnot. I'm, I'm doing my best to help out. And uh, I'll catch you all again real soon. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.